Hey guys, today I wanted to share with you some of my pages that I did in my 2014 Erin Condren planner. As you can see, my planner is decorated for St. Patrick's Day. I really love this cover. I ordered it directly from Erin Condren. And then I love this headband here with this um, ribbon shamrock and the gold bow. I believe I picked that up on Etsy from Rainbows and Pixie Dust and I will leave that link below, but I totally love it. The only thing is I have to hide it from my kitty cats because this is just like a kitty cat's dream to get their paws on this. So it's really pretty and I'll show you a close up of it. I absolutely love it. Okay, I thought about how I was gonna share in my planner and I think the best way is I'm going to do it monthly. Now you guys already saw some of my January pages so some of this may be a little repetitive and I'm sorry about that. As you can see my monthly planner pages as far as the month on two pages I do not utilize this. Sometimes I will write in an appointment somewhere or use it for sticky notes but mainly I do leave it blank. Now again, a lot of this is going to be repetitive. So this is my first week in January. This was January 1st and this was my New Year's spread. And I did definitely get a little crazy with the color coordinating. And I totally love how this came out. It is so organized for me. And ever since I started using this planner, my life has totally, completely changed. I actually get done what I say I'm going to get done. At least 99% of it. Whereas before, I was only doing about 50% of what I said I was going to do. So here are a lot of the things that I used for the first week in January. Now, it would be impossible for me to go over for every single sticker, but I do have a couple of favorites. These little dishes down at the bottom for dinners, these are from It's Planning Time. She's one of my favorite Etsy shops and they are adorable. So I will definitely show those. Those are definitely a spotlight item. And another one of my favorite items is these weekend banners and they're by Scribble Prints Company on um, Etsy. I think it's Scribble Prints Co. And I will leave her link below as well. I really, really love those two shops. And then I did create a couple of my own stickers for January. The only one I created was this little cat bowl. And the reason why I do that is because for those of you that follow me, you know I have four cats and one of them is diabetic. So we're on a pretty strict feeding schedule in this house with the cats because we have to make sure that our diabetic cat eats exactly at the same time every day, 12 hours apart, so that she can get her medicine which is two insulin shots a day, one in the morning and one at night when she eats. So I really try to keep track of it. And in January especially, it was very new to me because we had only found out she was diabetic in December. So I definitely keep a lot of cat stuff in my planner. Okay, and this is January 5th through the 11th. I love the way this came out. I did orange and teal, but then I did incorporate some pink as well. And again, here's that Scribble Prince Co. weekend banner. I totally, totally love that. And another one of my favorite stickers on this page here is this little car from It's Planning Time. She customized them to my orange FJ, Toyota FJ truck. And I have this sticker here. I don't know where it's from and I just think it's totally adorable. So I added that on because it went with the theme. This arrow washi, I get a lot of questions on that. That's actually by Teresa Collins. It was in a three piece set that I purchased. So that is very readily available online and just really, really fun stuff here. Another one of my favorite stickers is this one here. And I love it because in the little TV I can write DVR or live because sometimes I watch shows live and sometimes I DVR them and it just helps me to keep track. So there are a lot of cute things going on on this spread. I totally love how it came out. Again, here is my cat feeding schedule and her insulin shots. 
and my steps. Those are the three things that I really like to keep track of. Now, down here at the bottom, I have a Studio L2E Hydrate Stamp. I was keeping track of my water intake and I was just doing really bad at it. As you can see, this whole half of the week, I didn't even record what I drank. But I do have to say, even though I no longer keep track of my hydration because I am getting way better at it. I'm up to like five or six bottles of water a day. So these would always be full. And I just figured at this point it wasn't worth doing it anymore. I did it for the time that I was struggling to get my 64 ounces in. And now I think I go way over that every day. So I don't feel the need to track it anymore. Okay. We're going to move on to the 12th to the 18th. And I stuck with the same color theme here because I just totally, totally loved it. And one of my favorite stickers on this spread here is these two houses. These are from It's Planning Time. They're so cute. And the little shopping cart with the heart in it. I also have a lot of Scribble Print Co stickers here as well that I really, really like. This to-do list is also its planning time. This is one of my favorite cat washi tapes. I purchased this on uh, Etsy. I believe it was a, a shop from England and I totally, totally love it. In next spread, I end up doing a spread just on that washi tape because I love it so much. And here again, we have my feeding schedule and insulin and my steps. And here I tried hydration again, and as you can see, it only worked for the beginning half of the week. So I do end up giving that up eventually. Okay, and then this is the 19th through the 25th. I really, really loved this spread. I tried not to stick with any specific color theme. I kind of just went all over here and I thought that was really fun because I could use whatever stickers I wanted. I didn't have to worry about matching colors or anything like that. This washi tape down here, I get a lot of questions from. I will leave the Etsy shop linked below. It's uh, little tiny monsters. They're so cute. I love them. Look how cute they are. They're just totally like my favorites. <laughs> and this here is another one of my favorite stickers, this little girl laying on the couch being lazy for my lazy days. Again, I don't know where those came from. I had a sticker sheet and I honestly had it for a hundred years. And I will show you that. This is a um, container store coupon holder and you can see right down there it says container store this is where I store all of my stickers and I'm going to go to that sheet of stickers that I was talking about and here is the sheet right here I've had these stickers forever I don't know where they came from I just had them in my stash and they're super adorable check out that one that says Wonder Woman and she's juggling everything how cute but when you flip it over, this is the company. So I don't know if anybody's interested in trying to track them down. I think I did and I wasn't able to find them. But that is the name of the company. Really, really cute stickers. So what I ended up doing was I ended up scanning them into my computer and then um, putting them into my Silhouette software and cutting them out. So I ended up with duplicates of a lot of these stickers. So I'm really happy about that. They're not on glossy paper like these originals, but they're close enough, so I'm happy. Okay, so that was everything on this page. And I believe... We have a, another week of January, and I went with teal and pink for this week. Totally love this. And here is that washi tape that I was talking about. I really, really love it. It's so cute and detailed, and I just love the little black hats on it. I think it's adorable. Um, this page here, probably my favorite stickers, are these little screwdrivers. <laughs> They're from uh, Plantastic Planning. And they have been really, really helpful during my renovations. For those of you that follow me, know that I'm in, currently in my third week of house renovations. Oh my God, they are ripping my house apart completely. My whole living room and my whole kitchen, which is a big open area and is pretty much half of our house, is just 
gutted and completely ripped apart and we're starting to put everything back together and it's just been insane. <laughs> so these little screwdrivers have really, really helped. And that is it. That goes into February, guys. Now there is a lot of stuff on these pages and a lot of stickers. If there's anything that you see that you specifically want to know about, just leave a comment below. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I also want to thank all my Instagram followers. I mean, it's crazy. I'm getting up close to a thousand of you guys, which is like outrageous. So if you are not following me on Instagram, definitely Definitely do that and I will leave the link to my Instagram account below. Thank you so much for watching guys. Bye!